Now that we know how to read our netcdf file in uh, to R as a raster, I want to show you how you can calculate some pixel-wise descriptive statistics for the, this raster brick, as this can be very useful. And so if you'll remember, we have this raster brick that has 621 rows, 1,405 columns, and 121 layers. And let's say I want to calculate the mean of, of each cell over each layer. So I want to have a single layer raster that has the mean of these 121 layers. And this is actually quite simple to do. And so we're going to, we'll call it uh, RAS mean for raster mean. And it's as simple as mean and taking our raster brick. Uh, and this might take a minute, so I might pause this video until it's done. Um, but I, I'm just going to run this, and then we'll take a look at the, the results after it's finished running. Okay, we finished running here. So I'm just going to take a look at what this uh, RAS mean uh, looks like, what the mean raster looks like. And you can see here we once again have 621 rows, 1,405 columns. And this time we don't have 121 layers, but we have a single layer that's going to contain the mean of those 121 layers. Okay, now I want to go over standard deviation as well. Uh, because it's not quite as simple. What you think you do is you do something like RAS standard deviation equals SD RAS brick, right? Oops, I gotta do control enter. But you see it, it throws an error here. And so what we have to do, uh, we can still do this, but we just have to take a different approach. We use calc. And Let's see, raz brick, and we're going to do a function, a standard deviation, and if there are any NA values in there, uh, I want to remove them. Okay, and now once again, this is going to take a few minutes to run, and so I'll pause the video while it runs, and then we can look at the output. Okay. Uh, that's finished, so let's take a look at this. And you can see that once again we have a rest with 621 rows, uh, 1405 columns, and then we have the rows, columns, and cells. We can see, well, let's do this. Um, let's take a look at RAS mean, and we'll pick a spot uh, somewhere in the middle around 300, 700. Okay, we can see the value there, and let's go res SD, uh, same thing, 300, 700. And you can see those values uh, are quite different. And yeah, so that is uh, how you can calculate those pixel-wise descriptive statistics for a raster with multiple stacks and do it somewhat efficiently.